Hello everybody, so Shazia's here out here in the mad science laboratory, old crazy here. Shazia's going to show you this doggone uh, Neodymium Magnet Accelerator 3, the bare bones model. So keep in mind, this isn't everything to it, but I'm just going to tinker around with this for a second and see if I can get that uh, ball to go around in circles for a minute. And some folks wanted to know um, how you're going to pull power off of it. You notice there's a fluorescent bulb in the center. It is connected via one wire going straight through the center of one of these types of coils right here that has the neo neon bulb on it. That's actually going through the center tap of basically like a fly flyback driver. Same same circuit I've been showing you. So on the center of that coil right there, that's where one of these coils, single wire running through, and it's picking up that uh, back EMF and. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to show you something even cooler. And normally, something I've been trying to tell folks, but I won't get too in depth in it. Normally, these wires are real thin and they'll get real warm. They'll even get real hot. And I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take this one, which is the same one that that uh, fluorescent bulb is actually running on. And I'm going to put one of these on here. And then I'm going to run it again. So now you got one neon bulb. Okay, now we're going to put one more. You can do this while knocking everything off on the floor. Let me get all these out of here before I pull something off in the floor. All right. Okay, there's one. There's two. And 
There's three. There's four. Somebody trying to call me up on Skype. Six neon bulbs run around six separate coils. Now yeah, we got to get her adjusted just right. Very temperamental. is that ball is not having to move fast and it takes a little while for this thing to sync up Turn a little light off for a second. That's all those neon bulbs and one fluorescent. But the cool thing about it is. Those coils right there pull enough energy away from this thin metal wire right here to keep these puppies cool while it's uh, running that deal. And you get it, uh, if you get it down just right, you got to find, I mean, there's a sweet spot in there. So I'm going to build a special circuit for this particular deal right here. Still going to work the same way going to work just like that flyback driver but there's got to be a couple little tricks to it but you can see you got some mechanical energy going on you got not one but six uh, neon uh, bulbs and one fluorescent so seven coils total running while you have uh, fluctuation anywhere from 250 to uh, Whatever the lowest spot is, 150, 140, somewhere around about. And every so often pop up about. It just depends. But you get this thing perfectly tuned, and you might be surprised at what you come up with. And right now you're just seeing the bare bones of this. 
can't seem to find my other uh, driver deal. I've got several of these on the way, but otherwise, and maybe in the next video, I'll be running both of these simultaneously with each other so you can see them. Anyway, I just wanted to make a short video to give you a general idea of how, when this thing's running, you'll be able to pull power off of this thing. Now, see, this circuit right here, when this thing gets up going and that magnet starts to whip around there, that mechanical force, just like you see right there, will take that power away. So, intermittently, if this thing is basically like it's doing right now, that's why that magnet's moving so slow. And that's I'm pulling power off the I'm pulling power off of the bottom on one single wire, which is the middle wire, which would be your midpoint on your on your flyback driver. Right. Right there. Is running all seven of those coils. That one single wire is running all seven of those coils. Not wrapped around it, just right through the center of it. So, when it's all said and done, and you see what it is that I'm fixing to do with this thing, you might just be pretty well excited about it. But, you can see what the voltages are right there, and I'm telling you right now, if you think there ain't some power coming out, it'll come over and touch that wire. Any one of the seven wires there, touch that wire, and you'll find out what I'm talking about. There's some power coming down there. And I ain't going to argue with everybody about the numbers. Because I said, if you look at that system back over there, that runs on voltage. There's no current involved in that situation back there. And it stores a lot of power. And when that thing charges up and I fire up the circuit behind me, I can run that thing all day long, all night long off of absolutely no batteries in that system whatsoever so I got the storage I got the generation and a couple other tricks that uh, when you see what I'm talking about all the pieces of the puzzle start falling into place and you'll be happy campers and if you replicate what it is I'm trying to share with you then there you go anyway Peace and love, everybody. If you like the video, throw a thumbs up in there. If you don't like the video, I don't know what to say anymore because I'm tried. I tried. They say anywhere from 60 to 90 volts to energize a neon bulb. I don't know. I do know that's a lot of power coming from one single wire. Anyway, and the fact that these can actually pull enough power out of these wires to keep them from getting hot is pretty impressive. longer it runs it'll tune itself it'll start going around there start creeping around but anyway there's a sneak peek at it i'll show you more uh, pretty soon peace and love everybody take care